In this video, we are going to look at chapter 17 codes, the congenital malformations, deformations, and chromosomal abnormalities. Our codes are Q00 to Q99. You can see our chapter specific guidelines are very brief. There's really just a few here, more examples than guidelines, but remember to always review here first as you start to code the scenarios. You can also see our chapter codes in the tabular list are very brief. Again, 20, 25 pages of codes, very small compared to some of our other chapters in the ICD-10 SAM coding manual. Just like always, you want to assign your codes from the front, from your alphabetical index. One thing to note, however, is congenital malformations, deformations, chromosomal abnormalities do not always have an age. Our patient could be 2 or 22, depending on what they're coming in for. Congenital malformation, deformation, or chromosomal abnormality just means that that was born to the patient, right? They didn't acquire it. It was something that he or she was born with. So it's not always an age-related condition. So again, to look things up, you're always gonna use the front of your book, our alphabetical index, which starts directly behind our official coding guidelines, index to diseases and injuries. As always, I have three scenarios. I want you to pause in between all the scenarios, try to find the correct answer, unpause and compare your answer to see if you have the correct one. So our first scenario, we have a 16 year old who's coming in with Potter's syndrome. So what is the code for Potter's syndrome? Hopefully you assigned Q60 Point six, Potter's syndrome. Again, Q60.6. So to look that up in our alphabetical index, we're going to go to syndrome. Then we're going to go to Potter's. which if we go to P's, to Potter's, there is no P-O-T-T. -T. So if that ever happens, then we just wanna go to the P and see if we can find it under Potter's. There we go. So once we get to Potter's, we can see syndrome is indented why it's not under syndrome, and then Potter's, I'm not sure, but we can find it the same way, the same code, Potter's syndrome, and it gives us Q60.6. Okay, our next scenario, we have a one-week-old newborn with lumbar spina bifida. Again, one-week-old newborn with lumbar spina bifida. What is our correct code? You should have assigned Q05.7. So lumbar spina bifida without hydrocephalus, and it also says lumbar sacral spina bifida, not otherwise specified. So to find this code, we're going back to our alphabetical index, and we're gonna go to B to bifida. So we'll see that we have bifid and before us uterus, so no bifida. So now let's go to spinal. And there we go, spina bifida, and then ours was lumbar. So spina bifida, lumbar, Q05.7. 
And then our last scenario, we have a 36-year-old male being seen today for a unilateral cleft lip. Again, a unilateral cleft lip. So the code you should have got is Q36.9. Cleft lip unilateral. It also tells us cleft lip not otherwise specified. So to find that, we're going to flip to the front of our manual. We're going to go to C to cleft. Then we're going to go to L to lift. Ours was unilateral. So we have our Q36.9 right there.